Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the gun guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting me and uh, watching my um, podcasts here on Patreon. I'm very grateful that you do, and I'm, <laughs> I'm very grateful for all your support. Now, in addition to being on Patreon, there is one other thing you can do that will help out that won't cost you a dime, and that is to do all your shopping on Amazon through our Amazon link. We have a link on our website, which you can see right there. I've circled it in yellow for you. If you go to our website at gunguy.tv or gunguytv.net or gunguytv.com, any of those will take you there, and you click on that banner that I've circled with the, uh, with the little yellow circle, that'll take you to our Amazon link. It'll take you right to Amazon through our affiliate link. And then any shopping you do on Amazon will benefit us a little bit. We'll get a little commission for it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's Everything's the same for you. It's just that Amazon pays us a little commission. And that helps us out more than you know. So if you don't mind doing that, that would help us a lot. Listen, I really try hard not to comment when tragedies occur and not to take advantage of tragedies. Uh, you know, like the school shooting in Florida is absolutely horrible. And I've not commented on it because I just feel like it's not appropriate. It's time for uh, the families to to deal with the tragedy, the kids at school. And I mean, it's just really, really horrible. And for the country to wrap its mind around the fact that this has happened yet again. And still, the problem then is if you want to have a little class and you want to be a reasonable human being and you don't want to comment on this stuff, you have to listen to the nonsense coming out of everybody's mouth. Every politician, liberal politician, and anti-gun politician in the world, and every anti-gun person in the world, it seems, with any um, public face or public awareness is coming out and saying they want more gun control, more gun control, more gun control. While, while I would like to sit back and not talk about it for a while and let the... Uh, let the community heal as much as it can and, and let the law enforcement folks figure out exactly what happened and gather the facts. I almost can't. I mean, the NRA almost can't. I mean, nobody, I mean, we, we really, as, as conservatives and, and firearms uh, rights supporters, we really can't because the likes of these folks are out jumping up and down uh, saying whatever they're saying. I mean, every political politician in the world has, has jumped out and said something stupid at this point, including Chelsea Handler, by the way, who was all over the news uh, accusing Republicans and the NRA of having blood on their hands. Chelsea Handler, who exists, I think, primarily for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to say stupid stuff every single day of her life so that she can somehow manage to be in the news. So she managed to mouth off and do that. Listen, there are, there's nothing anybody can say which will take away the pain of losing a loved one in such a tragedy or losing a loved one at all. Certainly not losing a child. You take your kid to school, you drop your child off, and you expect to pick them up when school's out. You don't expect to find out that somebody walked into the school and killed your child. That's just horrific. As a father, I can tell you, no parent wants to outlive their children. You say goodbye to your husband or your wife in the morning and they work at a, at a school and are going to go to school. You expect them to come home in the afternoon. My wife is a speech and language pathologist. That's what she does. She works with kids. And she's worked, she worked in the school district for decades. And when she went to school, I, I expected her to come home. And thankfully, she has. But some folks didn't. And it's a, it's a horrible and a tragic thing. I think the thing that infuriates me more than, than the fact that it happened is that it was completely and utterly and totally preventable. And yet, all these folks clamoring for gun control don't want it to prevent it. They want to use it. They want to use it as a platform to achieve their political ends. There's, there's no interest in preventing anything. If they were interested in preventing something, they'd be doing something about it. For crying out loud, a YouTuber noticed this guy's comment and contacted YouTube and the FBI. And the FBI went and interviewed him and talked to him. And did they go and get this guy? No. Here's what the FBI had to say today. First of all, I want to express my heartfelt condolences to the victims, the families, the friends, the entire community uh, who suffered this senseless and cowardly act. The FBI continues to stand by the Broward County Sheriff's Office, support them, and give them every resource they need to investigate this heinous crime. In 2017, the FBI received information about a comment made on a YouTube channel. The com comment simply said, I'm going to be a professional school shooter. 
No other information was included with that comment, which would indicate a time, location, or the true identity of the person who made the comment. The FBI conducted database reviews, checks, but was, un was unable to further identify the person who actually made the comment. Again, as a native South Floridian, my heart goes out to the victims, the families, and friends, and the entire community. Thank you. Now, all I have to say to that is, are you kidding me? Seriously? You didn't know who the guy was? I want to show you again the comment that was published today, uh, I think on Fox News. The comment, the photo, the screenshot of the comment, whose name is on it? Hello? This is the Federal Bureau of Investigation, supposedly the best investigative unit we have in the country, which, by the way, the FBI has no reputation left, I don't think. I, I don't think they have any credibility left on the planet after this whole nonsense with uh, Russia and all that crap. But nevertheless, this is the FBI. <laughs> Are you telling me that if this guy had gotten on a YouTube channel and made a comment threatening the president or, or Nancy Pelosi or little Chucky Schumer or any of these folks, that the FBI and the Secret Service and every other federal law enforcement agency known to man wouldn't be on that guy's doorstep sometime that afternoon? I don't believe it. Of course they would be. You know, somehow magically they'd pull some rabbit out of their hat and find the guy and go talk to him. But because he was just making an idle threat about being a professional school shooter, they didn't bother to invest the time or the energy. Now look, if anybody knows me or talks to me or even hangs around me or watches my YouTube channel, you know that I support law enforcement. My father was a deputy sheriff. My friends, many of them are law enforcement people. And I know that it's tough to find a guy like that, but you can't tell me that that wasn't possible, and I don't believe it. That was the FBI, once again, the federal government, once again, dropping the ball. And then you have AG Sessions. You know, I like Attorney General Sessions. I really do. But today in Breitbart, he said, well, you know what? Uh, all of law enforcement is deeply concerned about this trend of violence in schools and other similar places, he said, noting that he had discussed the issue with organizations. I was uh, with the major c county sheriffs today. He's saying that this, you know, these are signs and, uh, and, and, and uh, warning signs all over the place. And if law enforcement is just allowed to do something, they can prevent these. Okay, well, what is it law enforcement isn't allowed to do? Go talk to the guy. What is it law enforcement isn't allowed to do when they get a referral for a, for a threat? When the guy has been a problem for a while, when they know that he's been threatening kids at this school, Nobody contacts this dude. Nobody talks to him. I'm tired of hearing, oh, well, yeah, we, you know, there were a lot of warning signs and we didn't know about it. When the kids at school tell you that everybody was predicting this and that the kids themselves knew that if anybody was going to do this, it was going to be this guy. And yet our law enforcement somehow can't get in there and do anything with it. Well, let me tell you something. If law enforcement is that ineffective and can't do anything about it, then this whole theory of make a gun-free zone and let's involve law enforcement, law enforcement will protect us, is thrown completely out the window because not only will they not protect us, they can't. They can't even find a guy who threatens to kill kids on YouTube. We'll talk more about it in a minute. Look, after that rant, it's hard for me to even talk about this, but I think it's important for all of us to understand that if we have guns for home defense or we carry a gun like I do on a daily basis that we need some legal backup. And the company I use for that, which sponsors my channel and for which I'm very, very grateful, uh, is Second Call Defense. I urge you to check them out. Their uh, link is in the description. If you sign up for Second Call Defense and become a member as I am, uh, it'll protect, they'll protect your family like they protect mine if you ever have to use a gun to defend yourself. And it'll also benefit Gun Guy TV and help us uh, keep on doing the things that we're doing. I appreciate it every time you take a step to do that. So check out Second Call Defense. Now, I just want to start this segment again by, by just putting on the screen the screenshot of the comment, I'm going to be a professional school shooter, and look right above the comment where it says, Nicholas Cruz. It's not like it was using, you know, Mickey Mouse or one, two, three, I'm cool or some stupid uh, nickname. He just had his name on there, Nicholas Cruz. A and they, they couldn't figure that out? Come on. I don't believe that. I think that's absolute, complete and utter nonsense. And, I, and you know what? If you don't, 
<laughs> I'm concerned about it because it is nonsense. Now, look, at least somebody in Hollywood, and most of Hollywood is, is blowing up and most of the political strata is blowing up gun control, gun control, gun control. Look, I'm, I'm proud of one guy, and that's Adam Baldwin. There's a news story today in Breitbart, Breitbart uh, News. Adam Baldwin to gun-grabbing celebs, time to arm school staff with guns. Hours after the horrendous toll of the Florida school shooting on Wednesday became apparent, Hollywood veteran actor Adam Baldwin reacted to gun-grabbing celebrities by calling for school staff members to be armed with guns. Well, duh, I've been calling for that for years. Look, okay, so in the county in which I live, I live in San Diego County, all right, there are school districts here. Now, San Diego City Schools has their own uh, police department. I don't know how many of them run schools or whatever, but they have a police department their own. But the other districts don't. And in the district where I live, our district, generally with the high schools, has one police officer on the high school campus. And, and I'm grateful for that school resource officer, that armed police officer on campus. But you're talking about a high school campus. I, have you been on a high school campus lately? If that cop is on one end of the campus, has to run to the other end of the campus to save somebody, it's going to take that cop five or six minutes to get there. And in five or six minutes, a dozen people or more are going to be dead. There's no time to get from here to there. But there are teachers there who, who could be armed, who would be armed if you'd let them. i got to tell you, my wife certainly would be if you let her. But California won't do that. You know, California has made all of our school campuses from, from kindergarten through, through college. It doesn't matter. All of them are gun-free zones, except that people show up with guns and kill people there because they don't care about the gun-free zone sign. So the teachers are left defenseless. Take, for example, this gentleman who was killed in the shooting, uh, whose name, I, and I don't, his, I may mispronounce his last name, and I don't want to do it. His name is Aaron, and I think it's Feist, but if I do mispronounce it, please forgive me. This gentleman was, was, a, was the football coach, or one of the football coaches, and from what I read, a security guard. He was a football coach and security guard. And he died protecting the kids. I mean, <laughs> I'm so proud of him, I could burst. I can't tell you how proud I am of him for doing what he did. But why, why wasn't he armed? The only way he could defend the kids was by pre presenting his own body in between him and the shooter, in between them and the shooter. I mean, he used his own body to defend these kids and he died. He had no other tool with which to fight. So he was shot to death. And that is a crime. He died, not because of the NRA. He died, not because of Republicans. He died, not because of the Second Amendment. He died, not because of pro-gun people. He died, not because of, of, uh, uh, of anybody promoting uh, concealed carry or any of those things, or, or gun shops or gun sales. No, he died because he loved those kids and he wanted to protect them and because our society, led by snowflake anti-gun liberals, put him in a position where he had nothing with which to defend himself or them, except his own body, and not enough law enforcement presence to defend him, let alone the other kids, which is why so many were killed and hurt. At some point or other, we have to admit that law enforcement can't do this. They don't investigate it fast enough, or they don't have the resources to find them, which I find incredibly stunning when it's the FBI saying such stupid, idiotic things. Or they, they, or the law gets in their way. They can't search because they, the, guy, the dude's got a Fourth Amendment right. They don't have probable cause, or whatever the case might be. Okay, all right, that's fine. So we put a cop on a campus so big that the cop can't be in the right place at the right time unless he's just lucky. Well, okay, I don't mind the cop being there. I think that's great. Can we put a couple of them there, maybe? And could we, by the way, also give the teachers the option to be trained and armed so that they can defend themselves and defend the children? I would like this man that you see on your screen right now to have gone home at the end of the day and the kids that he protected to have gone home at the end of the day and not for this man to have lost his life needlessly because he was arbitrarily made defenseless by politicians who will never and have never probably ever faced the kind of threat that he faced because they have protection, because they have people guarding them, because they're wealthy and they, they live in mansions with armed guards around them all the time. 
we got to stop this nonsense and stop listening to these people who don't face the threats that we face and start protecting our kids. And it's not going to be done with gun-free zones and gun control. All that is is a way for the elite to stay protected and feel like they did something when all they've done is make the rest of us vulnerable into, into sheep to be slaughtered. Now, you've heard my rant there. Look, this cruise kid was findable. This cruise kid was stoppable. This whole shooting was preventable. Nobody stepped up to prevent it. Law enforcement didn't. This kid's parents, if he has any, I, you know, I, I think he had one and she died. I don't know. I didn't get through the whole thing. They didn't. His friends didn't. The school didn't. And nobody allowed anybody to be able to protect anybody at the school. That has to stop. We protect banks. We protect politicians. We protect, protect courts. We protect, good grief, my, my bank has got more security than the school down the street. Now, what's more important, the money in the bank or the children in the school? <laughs> How hard is this? I know this was an undisciplined rant, but it's just common sense. I mean, it's just absolutely common sense. Don't you agree? What do you think? I mean, if you take your kids to school, wouldn't you like the teacher to be able to protect them? If somebody showed up like this guy did, I, I would. I'd be happy to volunteer and stand on the school campus myself if they'd let me, but they won't. And that's my podcast for today. And it's a weird way to get back into podcasting. I've been, I took a break because of family tragedies and things here for a while, but, uh, but I'm back again. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for giving your, your time and certainly your support here on Patreon. I, I'm very, very grateful for your support of the Second Amendment, for your support of Gun Guy TV, for your support of me. And, uh, and I hope that at some point you and I, along with the rest of us who feel the same way, might be able to actually drum some common sense into our political leaders or remove them from office and elect people who do have some sense so that we can protect our children, protect our society. Our society is a mess. Don't even get me started about that. We're godless. We have no moral fiber anymore. Every deviant and perverted behavior is not only, not only now supposed to be acceptable and allowed, it's celebrated and encouraged. Violence and criminal acts are, are glorified in movies and, and uh, video games and all kinds of other things. All we're doing is teaching people to be godless and have no no morals. People don't have manners anymore. They have no no moral guidelines. They don't have any of that anymore. Now, I, I'm not that old, but I'm old enough to know that. This is the society we've built. Okay, well, if that's the society we want, it isn't the one I want. But if that's the one we want, then we have to recognize that people are going to do crazy things like this, and we better put enough security in place to protect ourselves and our loved ones. And I'll close with that. Have a great day. Thank you very much for letting me rant. I really appreciate it. I hope you're ranting about the same thing. Because if you're not, you ought to be. Uh, I'll be praying for these people in Florida. And frankly, I'll be praying for you. I hope you'll be doing the same. Be safe.